then this is a spike free. Yeah, Damn it, it was so good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and today we're doing another episode of That Chocolate Vegan Reviews. We're here in Kirkwood, Georgia, and we're gonna be trying Jose Vegan, so let's come inside. Hi guys, voiceover Aaron here. Um, this was filmed on a Friday uh, around lunchtime, so the audio is very loud. The restaurant was pretty full of people, so for future videos, let me know if you guys would rather have me do a voiceover like right now, or should I get the food to go and do a review in my car if I know the restaurant is going to be loud. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, I think this is the, this is the breakfast sandwich, Kirkwood. Cheese. Oh, it's a little egg. I'm gonna taste the egg and see what this is made out of. But it tastes good. I don't like how mushy that is. The taste is really good though. Okay, not by itself. All together, the sandwich is really good. Hold on. Cheese is really good. You ready, honey? I love this cheese. Okay. Okay. All right, this is the chickpea sandwich. I was, I was going to get the black bean burger, but I was like, let me get something different. Looks like these are alfalfa sprouts. Uh, not sure. All right, let me get a piece of the chickpea first. I can see it's gonna be a texture thing here with me. I, I can see that right now. Again, can't, can't bite it. Tastes really good. Texture. It again. Hold on. Get a close up right here. Like that crumbles very easily. It, it's like whatever this sauce is though, amazing. Really, really good. I don't know if it's like aioli or what. Not bad. Like it's a texture thing. I'm gonna eat this. Don't get a twit. I'm gonna eat it. All right, this is their Cuban potato salad. Don't know what that means. Never been to Cuba. Why did I, why did I put that? <laughs> you either love or hate this. I like it. But it has like, it has um, green peas in it. And some seasoning I can't identify. Yeah, you either just love or hate this. I can't even describe it, guys. I wouldn't give it to somebody who loves potato salad. If you like plain American potato salad, this is not it. Okay, so I'm most excited for this one. It's the buffalo ch um, chickpea salad. Um, looks like kale, tomatoes. I don't know what the, is this fake blue cheese? Okay. And obviously they probably roasted the chickpeas with buffalo sauce. Okay, so let's just go in for this bad boy. It's gonna be a messy bite. I'm gonna probably edit the bite out. Ooh, I love the spice. Oh yeah. Make it a piece of fake blue cheese. I don't know if I got it. I don't taste it by itself. Hold on, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this for you. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of blue cheese. I don't know if it does anything for me by itself, but this this is good. This is I like this salad. I would give this to a meat eater. Not because it tastes like meat. It's just good, period. There's no like, what's this? What's it? It's chickpeas. <laughs> I like that it comes with kale and not like romaine or something like that. I like that. But of course, if you're not used to the texture of raw kale, which I can't use avocado, I'm struggling, then you might not like this if you're not used to that texture of raw kale. Mmm. 
Okay guys, I was about to leave, but I had to get a dessert. This is the cookies and cream because this does not say Oreo on it, okay? Um, cupcake. I don't know if it's um, gluten or soy free or anything like that. I'll ask before I leave. Um, just to show you guys, I did tear up that chickpea burger. That sauce was amazing. Everything else, I'll just get to go. But all right, so here we go. What? I'm not an icing person, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try it not first. Let me try with icing. Taste the Not a love, not nasty, not nasty by any means, no. It's just not like, mm, oh, mm. it just don't give me that. Okay guys, so I didn't tell you how much the food cost all together for all three of the meals. It was like $33 with tax. And for the cupcake, it was three or four dollars to so just give you a price range. Not bad at all. Also, I haven't looked at the footage yet. Um, I don't know what my face was doing, but the taste was good. I just want to reiterate that the taste was good for this restaurant. It is not for anybody trying to transition to be a vegan because the texture is way off for mock meat. It's not trying to be a mock meat. Everything was something real, you know what I mean? Like it was a chickpea burger. I'm not sure what the um, breakfast pattern is made of, but I'm gonna guess black beans. So, in conclusion, on a scale from one to 10, that chocolate vegan gives this place an eight. I've said it a thousand times. Not for transitioners, but if you have a friend who's definitely interested in vegan food without the mock meat texture, then this is a place for you. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Okay.